name is Monique, Tattoo and Pixie. I'm not at the Happy Pan Plant Palace. I'm actually in Perth, so I haven't got a stand or my microphone. I hope you can hear me well. Um, so I bought this fishtail Hoya wish list plant of mine, also known as a Hoya Polynola. <laughs> Probably said that completely wrong. And I was very disappointed when I picked it up. Because it's covered in mealybugs. Like every single stem, it's everywhere. It's literally riddled. But, yeah, and so I thought I'd do a quick video. So, As you can see, the plant looks really not very well. Not sure if it's due to neglection or dehydration, probably dehydration because this is really... And again, the trick, stick your finger in the soil and this is super dry. Anyway, so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to give it a prune and cut as much I don't even have secretaries <laughs> so if you look at the plan I'm just gonna this one here for example it's just one little leaf with one tiny stem I'm just gonna cut it at the base go on same as this little one here I hope you can See everything, everything that's dry and doesn't look good. I'm even tempted to cut this one off, but I'll wait for that. So this is actually pretty good. So I'm just cutting this leaf off. And then again here, cut this off. When you cut these off, make sure you put that in a um, bin. Don't put it in your compost. Because that will just, you don't want that in the compost. I'm going to cut that off right there. And then this one here. And yep, I'm going to go for it and trim this one all the way down as well. It's just too leggy. Right. So now I'm just gonna spray the entire plant. I'm gonna mix up some soapy water. So all we do is detergent, just put a dash of detergent in the water bottle. I like to use um, warm water. The detergent actually destroys the wax protection of the mealybug, which can even dry out the insect. And then we're ready to go. So once you've got your detergent mixed, um, just cover every stem, even the soil, cover everything with the detergent. I might actually. And that's why I love having a decorated pot and then the nursery pot because you can just take it out and just give it a spray. And if your dog is around, it's not too bad. You spray the detergent. Um, also the detergent will dry out the um, mealy bath. Hopefully, so cover the whole soil, even the rim of the pot. They creep into every corner. Right, and then I got some, just some paper towel. And now we 
just gonna wipe it off. So the next step is we just give it a good drink of water and maybe a little bit of sea salt just to give the roots a bit of a boost and see how she goes. I'll give you an update. Hopefully she'll recover. Yeah, just make sure that you wipe everything down as they spread. And when you get a new plant, I know it's tempting, but don't repot it because this plant, as you can see, it's really stressed out. It's like had yellow leaves. The leaves are not really lush. They, yeah, the soil is pretty good. Like it's it's not compacted. It's enough drainage. The pot's draining, and we just gonna give it a drink and see how she turns out. I thought I was just finished and check this out. That's what I mean with in the leaf axle. There's still some left in there. So I'm gonna get them out and Alright guys, I hope you like this video, comment in the section below what you like to use or what your go-to method is of trading merely bugs or whatever pest you have, I'd love to know. Also if you like this video give it a like and I'll see you next time, stay planting.